What's up guys, it's Joe Hattaga from Mass Momentum Coaching and um, MassMomentumMarketing.com. Um, as many of you know, I recently went to Affiliate Summit West 2011, um, which is a trade show or a conference for um, affiliates and affiliate networks and as well as new advertisers and law firms. Now I, I, I learned that we're there. Um, to really get in touch with each other, get to know each other and really know more about this industry um, and also you know make business connections. So um, it, was, it was out in Las Vegas and I want to talk to you about basically becoming a conference pro in five easy steps. So um, this was actually taken from the Revenue Performance Magazine and in another video I explained some of the magazines that I am actually a part of and this is one of them um, or actually subscribe to. Now conferences like Affiliate Summit West are really good conferences to meet people but there are five things that you should do um, beforehand or while you're there and even afterwards to make sure that you make the most of it. So first is setting a goal. Um, obviously, it's, it's very important to have a clear, short list of goals um, for why you're attending the conferences and what you plan to get. So, for instance, my goals were twofold. One was to definitely go there, represent Offer Vault, and be able to bring in more business for Offer Vault. Two was to also go and represent myself and be able to create JV partners and um, joint venture partners with people who may have um, a bigger email list or um, who just might have more influence than I do so that when it comes time for me to, to present my product to the world, I can go to those people and um, get it out there. Um, personal branding, um, which kind of follows up on one, one of the two things that I was worried about or what I went to do. So um, you're going and you're meeting a lot of new people. So business cards are obviously a must. Um, but you, 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 but how you introduce yourself is also important. You know, if you're kind of sort of doing this thing, or I'm kind of sort of just trying this thing out, you know, you're not going to be remembered. If you are, if you have clearly defined uh, mission statement, things that you want to do, what you're there to get from it, um, people remember that. Um, and also have a picture of yourself on your business card, those are also important. But the most important part about having a business card is getting someone else's. So you really want to have a business card so that you can exchange business cards. Um, most people don't actually call people back. Some people do, um, but your goal is to make sure that you get other people's contact information so that you can be in contact with them later. Um, Scope out the itinerary. That's really important. Um, at every trade show, there'll be speakers. You'll know when the when the meeting hall is open. You'll know when everything is closed. You'll know when um, there are different uh, parties and networking sessions. You want to make sure that you are aware of all of these things so you can participate in as much as possible. If you don't look at the itinerary, you're basically going in there blind and just going with the flow. That's something you don't want to do when you go to a conference that is that large because you want to make sure that you're going to meet the right people and the people who really can help you take yourself and your business to the next level. Um, know what you're looking for. As I said before, I went in with two specific goals. I knew I was looking for uh, affiliate networks to list in the Offer Vault system as well as I was looking for JV partners to uh, partner with to mail my product when it comes time to, to put it out. Um, and then the other thing is meet with other affiliates. Why? It basically just builds on what I just said about knowing who you're looking for. You want to meet other affiliates because you want to get to know you know, what other people are doing in terms of marketing. Um, you want to know what kind of uh, listed people have. You want to know, um, you know who are the major players. All these different people, these are just people to have that are in your circle of influence. They're good people to have because then now you can, when you leave a conference, you have left with contacts that are people of affluence and of influence. And those are the people that you want to have in your circle. Those are the people you want to refer to when you have a question about any kind of internet marketing. And those are the people you want to refer to when it's time to launch a product, as I said before. So, guys, remember there's five ways to become a pro at a conference. Just keep those things in mind and make sure that you follow them to the T anytime you're going to any type of marketing conference. Now, Affiliate Summit East in New York is coming up uh, this summer. Also, Ad Tech San Francisco is coming up, um, I think, in March. So these are two places that you definitely want to be. Um, go to AffiliateSummit.com and go to AdTech, I think, .com and um, find out how to find those. And if you don't have, you know, if you don't have um, access to airlines or anything like that, or if you're wondering where they're going to be at and all that kind of stuff, just reach out to me. You can just go to www.MassMomentumCoaching.com and I'll get you all the information you need. All right, guys, that's it for now, guys. I will see you all in the next video.